Okay, comic 45 today. Might not be a very long one because I found that with my throat not feeling so good, I um, I can't talk for very long and if I do it hurts quite a bit. Well, I just tried to wipe a smudge off my monitor and I found out that it was just my terrible drawings. What, what seemed to happen fairly often is I'd get, while I was drawing it, I was drawing left to right and I'm right-handed. And occasionally, if I had to go back and fix something, I'd get some some uh, some pencil lead on just the bottom of my hand, and I would smudge it all over the place. There's a couple smudges in here. You can see a big smudge in the third panel, a fairly large smudge. It looks like on Jeff's left arm in the second panel. And uh, I just tried, I I just tried wiping a smudge off of Julie's breasts in that first one. And I must say, I'm aside from the fact that. Yeah, that's a solid line on her breasts in the um, in the first panel. So much so that the the one to to the right seems to be hastily fixed and fixed improperly. That's the problem. If I don't do it right the first time, I can take forever trying to fix it, but we'll just not fix. Let's get to the dialogue. I don't really want to know what Jeff is doing dressed up like that with a coat hanger and a, some sort of popcorn stick man. Hey guys, Thunderstorm, I'll be up on the roof bringing life to my army of minions. I mean, I really don't want to know. <laughs> come on, at least come watch him kill himself. There's a lot of punchlines in there, and I just keep dropping a little kind of funny little blurb after the after joke. I'm pretty good at the after joke. Okay, I'm um, sorry. I didn't mean to say I'm good at the after joke. I meant I'm good at trying to include an after joke. What is that? This stuff on my keyboard in front of me. I think that's a pretty good drawing of a coat hanger. Eh? Who's with me? The other thing is, when he, when he spreads his arms wide, you know what happens to your cape? Your cape goes along the back of you, so I included the fact that you could see his, his cape while he's standing in certain ways. I'm not just... It's a little absence of laziness there, I found. Except in the third panel, when I decide to close in on their faces and stop drawing shoulders. Is it me, or does it look like Julie's arms are coming out of the comic panel in the first panel? It's just a sort of flying out. Hey, guys, thunderstorm! Then again, we were talking about emphasis. Emphasis? I mean, I really, really don't want to know. Because he starts explaining. Bringing life to my army of minions. So obviously what you do is you take a coat hanger, which is going to be an electrical conduit, and then you just run some sort of wire, speaker wire or something, and you rig it up to your popcorn minions. Because that brings them to life. Why does lightning bring things to life? Why does electricity? Yes, I know the human body is basically just an electric, well, device. And battery and whatnot. What was that thing that I learned that they're trying to work on something where you can actually power your or you recharge your phone, your iPhone, if you just sort of hook it up to your own electromagnetic current? I could just be making stuff like that up. Someone invent that. That'd be funny and hilarious. You slap your phone to the side of your head and that's it recharged. Okay, my voice hurts. I uh, will try to do another one tomorrow.